Hi dear fitness friends, today we have our 2017 holiday hit number seven to do. So we're more than halfway through this series after this workout. This workout is chest, triceps, and a little bit of cardio. So for this workout, I'll be using my 16 inch elevation, my weights, um, my BOSU ball, which you do not need, but I'll be using for some moves to just add a little bit different challenge. And I'll also be using a 25 pound weight plate. I'm only using that weight plate because it's more comfortable for me to hold than my power blocks in my hand for some of the moves. All right, I do not have a warm up, so please push pause, get your body all warmed up and ready to go. And we're gonna start right into this workout with some cardio hit. All right, I hope you are all warmed up and ready to go. I'm gonna hit start on our first hit set. It's five moves, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, and we're gonna go through it four times. So this is a 20 minute set. Um, I am 22 weeks pregnant during this video, so as always, please choose your own weights and go at your own pace and make this workout perfect for you. All right, 10 second count on started. We're beginning with a decline BOSU burpee. You don't have a decline, just do it on the floor. You don't have a BOSU, just do a decline burpee. So feet are up, push up, up down, jump up. Make sure you're a good distance from your elevation here. Watch where you're jumping your feet. And one. An incline push up for two. And then five bench hops. So I'm pulling this out. Incline push it for two. One, two. Now five bench hops up and over. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Hop it in. One. One, two, almost there, ten seconds. Nice work. All right, we have an alternating forward lunge and a tricep kickback. I'm gonna go 12 pounds each hand. So big forward lunge, hinge forward, elbows up, tricep kick back, down, other leg. Make your movements exact. Make sure you get that forward hinge. So lean forward, elbows up, kick it back, and bring it down. Nice work. Almost there. Okay, we have four sumo goblet hops. I'm gonna hold my plate and then four toe touches. So start with the hop. So one, two, three, four. Bring the weight up. Go to one toe for one, all the way up. Two, three, four. Four more hops. One, two, three, four. Weight comes up to your toe. One, make sure your butt's going out. You're not just bending at the waist for these toe touches. Three, four. 
Four more hops. One, two, three, four. Okay. We have tiny toe taps overhead with your weight for six and chair lunges for six. So get that weight up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it down. Six. Switch your lunges. Two, three, four, five, six. Toe taps for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Toe taps again. Oops. Set it down. Back to the top. Both two burpees. So feet are up. Push up. And four. 
One, two, three, four. Okay, wicked toe taps and chin lunges. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, back to the top. You're halfway done. Don't quit. Feet are up. Ha. 
have it. Okay. You know what's up. Six high knee ten taps. Six chair lunges. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Challenging. Let's go. You've got five minutes. Let's go. One, two, 
one, two, three, four. Okay, final round of toe taps and lunges. Let's go get it up. One, two, three. So we're doing a dumbbell incline chest press. I will incline using my back against the round side of the BOSU. You can use your couch, you can use a chair, anything to get your back at about a 45 degree angle would be great. Then we're pairing that with a decline BOSU push up. So you have your feet on the round part of the BOSU, you do a push up, hop your feet, straddle them off, and we're gonna do a shoulder tap before we hop back on, okay? These are only 20 second intervals. You get a 10 second rest. Before I hit start, I'm just gonna get my BOSU out here so I have it ready to go. And for the incline press, um, I'm gonna go with 24s only because these are only 20 second intervals. So choose your weight accordingly. 10 seconds is on. So starting with the press. Nice and steady pace here. Nice job. Set the weights out of your way. Feet are up on the round side of the BOSU for push up. Please spread it out of the way. So push up first. Straddle your feet down. Now shoulder tap. One, two. Hop back up. Push up. Straddle down. One, two. Nice job. Okay, incline. Chest press again. Make sure your back is sturdy against that elevation. Nice job. Weight's out of your way. Decline push up, straddle down, shoulder tap. Stay tight for that shoulder tap. Okay, halfway down with this pair. heavy for those inclines. Lean this up 
here. So my ball's getting slippery. Let's go. Deep plan push up. Straddle it down. Shoulders. And let's do another push up. Okay. Final full round here. Weights are up. Okay, straddle down, then shoulder tops. Nice work. Okay, first round here is done. Moving on to a rep base giant set. We have, I'm oh, sorry, rep base super set first. We're doing a close grip chest press and an incline using my poster again, fly. For 15, 12, and eight reps. I'm sticking with 24s for all of the chest presses. If you have a weight, that you can increase. Start lower, increase that weight so that you're really struggling to get eight reps. Okay, so close grip chest press. My back will be flat on my mat. Weights are together over your chest. 15, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, drop them down, 15 flies. So for the 15, I'm gonna go with nine pounds in each hand. I am going to try to increase my weights as these reps go down for the flies. So nine pounds is what I'm starting with. Get your back on your incline. I'm gonna come at an angle so I have plenty of room to fly my arms out. 15 reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, squeeze at the top. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Bring it down. Okay, we're down to 12 reps. I'm not taking a break here, just enough time to switch my weights back to my 24s. Getting flat on the mat. Weights are close together over your chest. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sit down. Twelve flies. And I'm going to go with twelve pounds. I'm going to be shaking by the end of the superset. <laughs> You should be too. Challenge yourself with these weights. Don't just go light. 
You should still keep sweating and breathing heavy, or relatively heavy, while you're doing a chest workout. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, we're down to our lowest rep. For this set, eight reps. So, back to my 24s, my close grip chest, press, and then take a second to do a little chest expansion because I am shaking. <laughs> Let's go. On your back. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's work. Bring it down. Eight chest wise. I'm sticking with twelves. Know your limit to keep your form. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down. All right. Done with that chesty super set. We're moving on to a giant set. This giant set is going to be hit. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We're gonna go through it three times, so for three moves. So it's a six minute set, all right? Starting with an incline press, then moving on to single leg BOSU push-ups, where we'll be alternating legs after each push-up, and then a decline tricep burpee. So, the only weights I'm gonna be using are my 24s. Actually, take that back. We're doing an incline press for 30 seconds, and my chest is already shaking, so I'm gonna stick with 15s for that. So get yourself set up. Three rounds, 30 second intervals. You got this. Here we go. Hitting start right now, 10 second countdown is on. <clears throat> Starting with that incline press. So back against my BOSU, pressing it up. Slow and steady, keep your pace. Squeeze that chest at the top. Nice work. Weights out of your way. You have the single leg Bosu push up. So flip it over so the flat side is facing you. Start on one leg. Get a push up. Switch. Tricep for me. So tricep push up, feet are up. 
Hands are close together, going right underneath your armpits, elbows in. Hop down, jump it up. You guys are like, wait a minute, I thought we were done with cardio. Just a little heart rate spike here for your pleasure. Okay. Round two, incline crosses. That goes to over. Single leg push ups. So make sure you get that nice glute squeeze when you raise that leg up. Raise it up nice and high. You're on your BOSU or an incline of some sort. Get that glute raise. If you don't have a BOSU, you can do these on your bench or your chair or your couch. Nice work. Triceps, stretch up, push up burpees. Hands close together, let's go. Hop up. Okay, single leg bows and push ups. My chest is on fire. Flip it over. Hop it back, warm leg up. Awesome job. We are back to reps. We have a giant set. We're only going through it two times. We have bench dips with an alternating leg lift for 10 reps. Then we have three groiners to a bent tricep kickback for eight reps. Then 
a T-stand headbanger, which we're doing eight per arm. So let's cruise through it. So bench step, leg lift. So keep your butt close to the bench, elbows go straight back behind you. Keep your legs out straight in front of you for the hardest version. Bring your feet in and bend your knees if you need to lighten it up a little bit. So let's go, we got 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, roll out your wrists. We have the three runners to a bent kickback. And I'm going to go with nine pounds in each hand for this one. We have eight reps. So your hands are on top of your weights. One foot forward, one back. Let's go. One, two, three. Bring it up. Elbows up. Kick it back. That's one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. The T stand headbangers, eight per arm. So you can choose if you want to go from your hand or from your elbow. So I'm going for my elbow and I'm going to stagger my feet. Stack your feet for the hardest version. So get the weight up, eight reps headbang it. Not literally, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down, flip it over, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, bring it down. All right, one more time through those moves and that's it. Move on to our next set. So back to those bench dips and leg lifts. You have 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, groiners and kickbacks. Sticking with the nines. One, two, three. Bring it up, kick it back. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. Switch it up. I just untied my shoe. Last one in the set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Oh, okay, our next set is another Tabata pair. We're doing a yoga inspired move that will be more of a tricep move than anything. It's a down dog. Come to plank with a spider knee for a tricep push up into up dog, okay? And then back to down dog. And we're doing bridge hold head bangers with that. So I'm gonna stick with the 12 pounds for the bridge hold hang head bangers. These are only 20 second intervals. <clears throat> you get 10 seconds rest in between. And I'm gonna hit start right away. 10 second countdown is on. So let's start with that down dog to a spider knee tricep lower into up dog and then we press back. So down dog position, let a glute raise. Spider knee as you tricep lower, put that foot back, up dog, down dog. I'm not flipping over to my toes for that up dog because I don't like to do that in my sneakers. And I'm staying on the same leg. <laughs> we'll get the other leg in the next round. Okay, bridge hold. Headbangers. <clears throat> so press up via bridge. Elbows are steady. Weights go right by your ears. Squeezing your glutes. Other leg this round, start on your down dog. Glute raise, spider knee, come forward to plank, tricep lower, foot comes back, up dog, down dog. If you want, you can float that knee all the way up to the top of your elbow and sort of rest your leg on your elbow as you go down. Which makes it a little more challenging. So press up into that bridge. Headbangers again. Nice work. Halfway done already. Down dog. Back to your first leg. So, glute raise up, spider knee, lower, see how I put it hooked, put it back. Up dog, down dog. to our final set already. Press 
it up. Headbangers. Squeeze that glute. Keep those elbows steady. Your triceps should be on fire by now. Nice job. Okay. Final set coming at you. We have 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Four moves. Each move we're going to go through four times before we move on to the next. First move is a pullover to a chest press. You can use two dumbbells. I think I'm going to go with two 15s. You can also do a single weight. You can do whatever feels good to you to get that pullover in. And then the chest press. Handstand shoulder taps, weighted walkout push-ups, and staggered hand burpees. And you're done. So, let's do it. Eight minutes between you and the end. 10 second countdown is on. Start with the pullover to the chest press. So this becomes a post grip chest press for me. So get a pullover first. Now chest press. Back to the pullover. Nice job. 20 second intervals go so fast in this format. You only get three more rounds of that move. Nice work. Last round, pull over chest press. Then we'll move on to a handstand, shoulder taps for four, and plank jack, shoulder taps for four. Uh, 
All right. So I'm going with nine pounds. Weighted walkout, push up with a pause, walk it back. So control those weights, walk it all the way out. Push up with that little pulse or pause at the bottom. Walk it back. All right, round one. Walk it out again. Guys, staying with me. Your chest and arm shaking. here and you're onto your final move. Walk it out. strong.